Hello, welcome to Spurverse. As you can see, this is not Craig Mitch. This is Smiv, who is a YouTuber. Check out his channel. Smiv, are you going to bring the same sort of energy, controversy, ridiculous, needless shouting that Craig Mitch brings? Um, I could bring a different angle, perhaps. Um, God. A lot of people call me a commentator, so I'm not going to commentate over everything, because that's going to be very... Mm. But um, I'll bring my views as a finally. Spurs fan, a loyal Spurs fan. Good, finally, we've got a loyal, not a plastic fan like Craig Mitch. Uh, good to have you here. So, first up, we've got Ali, Dyer and Kane. A tip to start tonight against France. Maybe Walker 2, maybe Mason. Any thoughts on that? Bring in Mason, because yeah. um, I don't think he's played as much this season with um, uh, Dyer and Ali in the middle, so I feel like... You know, whether he deserves that England call up because he hasn't played as much, I'm not yeah, too yeah. sure. But yeah, bring him in because, I mean, first and foremost, I'm a Spurs fan and I want my players to be rested now. I don't want any injuries ahead of this big game against West Ham. Agreed. So, yeah, whatever happens, happens. Even 45 minutes, just give him 45. I wouldn't mind Kane getting 45, getting a goal. Yeah, or two, or a hat trick. He you played know. before, he didn't really get any service in the last game. Uh, thoughts on Kyle Walker? Kyle Walker was trending on Twitter and I clicked on it, he was getting absolutely slated as the worst right back in England history after his last game. Is that he's, fair? No, he's he's not a bad player, is he? Come on. He, he, I think he has flashes here and there. He's done a couple of nice flicks here and there. But overall, he is a defender and that is his job. But I think his mind is to go more forward. It's the modern day right wing back. And he does yeah. find himself going a lot more forward rather than, you know, getting back for England and doing what he needs to do. And that's defend. Yeah, so. exactly. So I can see why it's frustrating for England. Exactly. Uh, yeah. It's sort of all right for Spurs. Mm. We were sort of more of a possession team yeah, now. That's right, yeah. Now. Um, all right, speaking of which, Harry Redknapp says that Deli Ali and Harry Kane could be big players for England for years. That's according to Talk Sport. What do you think of that? Do you agree with that? I think Harry Kane is. Is Harry Kane talking about? Harry Kane. Harry Kane, Harry Kane yeah. Deli I think Harry Kane's already proved it last season. A lot of mm. people saying he's a one season wonder. This season it's been a slow start, but he's starting to come into it now. He's starting to score goals. He's already got goals for England, so yeah. he's made for that shirt. Um, Ali, um, he's come in and he's been absolutely brilliant since his signing from NK Dons. Um, he came in the other night and showed some good, promising moves as well. So he's why just not? sort of fearless, isn't he? He just, he just plays with no nerves. He just got straight in, didn't he? And, got on with it it's and that's quality. what you want I agree I think he could be a huge player for England exactly yeah. he's been an absolutely huge player for England Harry Kane is, has got England all over him hasn't he he just seems like the next big England striker totally agree and it's not just Harry, Harry Redknapp who said that all the pundits have said Harry no, Kane's yeah. the next big England man uh, including Alan Shearer who I met last night okay uh, Harry Winks and Shayan Harrison have trained with the England squad the full England squad uh, due to a lot of injuries some of the under 21s have been brought in Harry Winks one of them mm -hmm. seen much of Harry Winks before um, I went to I've been to a couple of European games and he came on and he looked very very good um, yeah. Harrison I haven't seen any no I'll be honest anything about Shayan Harrison to be honest sorry no, no. sorry no. sorry Shayan <laughs> um, not a classic English name but uh, good to have you on board yeah. uh, Harry Winks I agree yes it's pretty good He's a bit lightweight, possibly, but you know, that's that's with age, he'll come into oh, it, he'll put yeah. on the weight, he'll put on the strength, and he just needs experience for Spurs before, you know, getting that big, big call up for England. But no, yes. it's, it's, it's promising and it's only going to do him confidence. Obviously. Exactly, it'll be good to, yeah, get get called up, train with the full England mm. squad, don't get on the pitch. Yeah. That'd be too much too soon. Just be in the mindset, be but with be, the guys yeah. that you're going to be playing with in a couple of years' time, and yeah, and, and hope it pays off for Spurs as well, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely stuff. Well, this has been Spurs vs. Part 1. Make sure you check out Part 2, which is a transfer, transfer special. Can't speak today. Uh, and we will see you shortly. Leave a comment what you think of the England result, what it's going to be. Uh, should we play Al Ali, Dyer, Kane, Mason, Walker? Who knows? Harry Winks maybe even, or Shea and Harrison even, the dark horse. Who knows? Uh, let us know. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we will see you shortly. Hello, welcome to Spurverse Part 2. I am still here with Smiv. Hello. This time we've got a transfer special, and at the moment we're talking about the fact that we are linked with Sporting Lisbon striker Islam Slimani. 